song, a peace song to sing. They said that's how they want to start the program. All right, Victoria and Ansa, let's hear your song of peace. All around the nations, all around the world, women are longing to be free. No longer in the shadows, forced to stay behind, but side by side in true equality. One man building a relationship for peace. Wow. So, um, what are, can you tell us the wordings of that song and um, why you compose, why that song is an anthem to you? Can you tell us the wordings, read out the wordings of that song? All across the nation, all around the world, women are longing to be free, no longer in the shadows or forced to stay behind, but side by side in true equality. That's the One Up National Anthem. Wow, that's so great. All right, so women are longing to be free. Why are they longing to be free? Well, it's a free world, first of all. So why are women longing to be free again? Which extra freedom are they looking for? The freedom women are looking for, we want to be in, in decision making. We want to be part of everything they are doing in the community. We want to be involved in everything they are doing in the society. We want to be identified in the society that our role is not only giving birth to children, getting married, and being in the kitchen, and the other room, as they say, <laughs> that we have a role to play as a woman. All right, so your duties do not end in the kitchen and the other room. Yes, as they say. <laughs> All right, okay. Now, uh, you were trained by WANEP. Let me ask answer. You were trained by WANEP. Can you tell us the details of the training and um, what, what they want you to do? Okay, Victoria, I want to talk first. Okay, go ahead. First of all, we have been trained by WANEP in so many things. But today our focus is on peace building. But before we go into details, we have to go for the declaration of peace. Peace is a station or a period of time in which there is no war or violence in a country or an area. Then, there are things we should know about peace. That peace is, prof is profitable and it promotes friendship, new infrastructure, job attracted, education is quality, an initiative is encouraged and when there is no peace there is a lot of things that go on and when there is no peace we have violence we have war and war is costly economic activities are disrupted loss of life health are by properties are destroyed houses are burned down weapons are expensive all right, so, um, so as, as I, I think we should embrace peace. So we'll go over to Ansa to give us her definition too. Well, she said all about the definition of peace. And as women, as young women in the society, we all know how these things affect us when it happens. The people creating the problem, the crisis, happens to be either our brothers, our fathers, our uncles, and we, most of the time, happens to be the vulnerable ones. Even when we don't have any idea about the crisis, someone may identify you to relate to the person causing the problem. And your life will just be in danger for no just reason, for something you know nothing about. Mm -hmm. And apart from this, when they get injured, they suffer from one thing or the other, they still fall back to us. And we are the people suffering from it, crying for their sake, looking for a way to cure them and doing everything and being unnecessarily Disturbed. Disturbed. Hmm. No peace of mind, no rest. Thinking of how to keep, keep the family, how to keep yourself from the people hunting either brother or sister or uncle. Hmm. Whichever yeah. way, which is not supposed to be so. So and most of the thing falls back on us. Okay, Victoria, do you want to add something? Yes. And another thing we face as women when there is crisis, we face rape. And we all know 
the effect of the in on the women. Then another thing we face when there is war, our brothers, our husband, our fathers go for the war. There is loss of life, like I said. And women become widow at any stage. You be, you begin to think of what to do to sustain the family and how to put more effort beyond the normal way it should have been. Everything fall back at you. You cry day and night. In fact, the women are the people suffering ev almost everything, the effect of the crisis. So I was trained by YNF to be a peacekeeper and peace advocate wherever I find myself. All right, tell us about the training. Victoria, yeah. you were trained by one of two, yes. right? Uh -huh. So for peace building. Okay. And um, before we go into that, we have to know what peace building is all about. Mm -hmm. Peace building is a set of strategies which aim to ensure that this food, armed conflict, and other major crises does not arise in the first place, or if they do arise, that they do not subsequently escalate. You make sure we, we are trained to, to teach others and to also and to us all our ties to the young women in our communities, in our environment, the importance that women have to play to make sure that this peace building is take place. So when there is peace, you see that. We should even make sure that this peace did not take place, that the crisis does not even occur in the first place. And if they do, we should make sure that they didn't get out of hand. So what are you doing to ensure that the crisis does not happen? Because that's one of the trainings you received from one. Yes. So what efforts are you making to ensure the crisis do not arise in the first place? What you will do, you preach about peace. Okay. to the community and to the parties involved mm. and you also identify groups already in the community mm. the already structured or you create a group to make it a platform to preach about this peace uh, after you have something to say yes come we maintain the peace and ensure the peace in the communities places where there is peace already. We we'll maintain the peace by helping them to realize the benefits of peace. The comfort of sleeping and closing two eyes at night and not getting worried something may happen or someone may do anything or you may wake up and the community is on rest. Mm. So then when the situation is already out of hand, we get to know the parties involved in the problem. Now, now you said you preach peace. How do you go about preaching peace? One, so the ways to preach peace, like I said, you have to find a group. In that group... Is it the group that is causing the problem? No, it's not a group, but the group have a long way to go. Because sometimes you discover that it's the main and the young men that is causing most of the crisis. So sometimes if you confront them, they might attack you. And you don't want violence to come in. And that's what we are avoiding as young women. Mm. So what we do, we identify the group or create a group. And from that group, you can go in mass to talk to them, talk to their leader, approach them. And also, as a group, you can create a platform for some singing and cultivate all the things, the ideas, the what you're supposed to tell them in a song and sing openly. They will hear you and get your message without them identifying you that you are the one that insulted them. So I think that's why the group is more important in this. So, so what, who and who do you make up the group you normally you formed? Have you formed one? Yes. Uh, so then who, are who, who and who are members of the group you have formed? 
I'm on mobile yeah. day group. Okay. To both of us. Yeah. Okay. And other Okay, after like training, it. you were asked to go back and form a group. Yes. Okay, so you formed the group, right? Yes. So both of us. The group made up of how many people? For now, we make it open. We are still looking for members to join us. So the group is for people who will advocate peace yes. in the communities. Yes. Okay. And especially young girls. Okay, young, young women. Mm -hmm. Alright, so how how often does your group meet? How often do you hold your meetings as a group? For now, since we formed the group newly, and most of them, they are not based in the community. So what we do, we have a group chat of which we discuss. We have set a platform for that. Then another thing, when we meet, we discuss how to move the the group on and how to achieve our plan. And that's why we have, I told you, that's why we are planning that by December to organize a football match within the young women. Okay. All right, and so answer. Yes, what are you doing as uh, an individual trained by one? What are the physical activities you're carrying out? W what areas uh, in what areas did they train you specifically? Like one if they trained you to do what? We trained to be peacekeepers and advocate for peace. Mobilizing communities to support an end to hostilities. Unfriendly or aggressive feeling or behavior towards mm. one person or the other. Mm. Providing support to victims of conflict. Strengthening community groups that can bring people together. Serving as the peacekeepers and the peace advocates. And designing and implementing plans for disarmament, demobilization and reintegration of armed groups into society. Okay. All right, so um, we'll, we'll call, before we continue with the discussion, uh, we'll call up um, a member of, in fact, one of the officials of OneF in River State, the zonal uh, official of OneF in Port Harkis, talking about Loretta Abu Ogweme, uh, for her to tell us one or two things about the train. We'll be right back. You're trying now. Hello. Madam Loretta, we are putting you on air 